A hard night for football players at a local high school. Athletes at Tyvee High School are thinking about their fellow teammate who was killed in a tragic crash. Now, someone else who used to play for that same school was also hurt, but it's unclear how the crash happened or if anybody else was involved. The Texas Department of Public Safety not answering our requests for information. But what is clear is the pain a community is dealing with amid this sudden loss. The night team's Patty Santos live in Kerrville where she saw how this community is trying to come together amidst all of this, Patty. Yeah, it was a bitter end to the Tyvee football season. Tonight was senior night, but it was marked with tributes for a beloved player. A moment of silence and prayer to remember 17 year old David Palestrant, a beloved member of the Tyvee High School football team, killed in a crash in Kerrville Thursday night. He was like the light of the locker room. Um, he always had encouraging words and positive words for his teammates, and he just was an all around really good kid. Palestrant played backup center. He wasn't supposed to play tonight's last game, but he was scheduled to walk the field with his parents for seniors night. We've been dealt several tough goals this year. His coach David Jones explains two teammates lost their father during the season and it's brought the team closer together. And it's been extremely tough on these young kids, but they have handled it beautifully. The difficult decision to play tonight's last game wasn't made lightly to a young man. They they wanted to play. Uh, some of them will never play another game the rest of their life. We have maybe one or two that may get an opportunity to play at the next level. But other than that, high school football is their life, and that's their dream of playing on this field. A dream shared by Palestrant. Tonight, many wore buttons with his photo while his jersey was hung on the team's bench, marking a community's greatest loss. As a parent, you see it as it could be your kid. It could just as easily be you standing there. So that kind of binds all of us together. And tonight we know that many other rival high school teams have reached out to this team and, and are even collecting donations for the family. Those donations are being handled by the high school's athletics office. Steve, Stefania. Hard to really fathom what that community is going through right now. Yeah. Thank you, Patty.